Come here now, girl. Hello and welcome to What's Map, your one-stop shop for everything workshop. I'm Bomb Bombi and you're very, very welcome. Well, this Monday we are having today a look at possibly the most underrated creator out there. Now, we have done them three times in the past. First time round, episode 732, they got the pass mark, nine stars. Last time round, episode 923, they got a very strong 12 stars. And episode 762 got 13 stars and it was probably my must play map of 2019. Now today's map is exceptional. Unfortunately it is littered with lots of tiny little detailing errors. Nothing that's going to break the map, nothing's going to spoil the map, but it's going to probably deny it any chance of being map of the year, which makes me sad. Can you make me happy instead please? Ah, making me happy is a really good way of supporting the channel, get me seen by more people and help me grow a little bit more every single day. Thank you for making me happy. Today's map is Dormant Volcano by Nico Lav Jr. Nico is back. Nico is back. Look at the map. Looks realistic. It's a fantasy map though, so a realistic fantasy map. There's your start square, definitely very usable, no complaints there. Your terrain heights look like this. Again, most of the map is very buildable so there's good news and if we have a look at the resources good and strong where it needs to be i think that's a, a decent spread of resources there uh if you've got sunset harbor and you want to do some fishing it looks a little bit like this not the most exciting of fishing maps but hey off to the workshop what do we need well no dlc today there's your good news your bad news is we've got a little bit of a list of things to subscribe to not the longest list but there is no one-click collection. I would love to see a collection for this, please. We'll be using the Natural Beauty theme and the Laviante LUT, and the whole thing comes together beautifully. Yes, there's a lot of things to subscribe to. It's worth it. It's not the longest list. We've seen maps with, like, double that amount, so it's fine. I think it's genuinely worth it. Also, look at this. It just looks so good. Now, I was talking about detailing errors. Here's a consist there is a consistent detailing error across the map, and it's with regard to this custom bridge asset. Now, I've got to try and get the camera set for this one. It's very difficult when you're hovering. But if you have a look here, these suspension cables, they don't quite tie in with the road. The road just needs the central node to be pushed up a little bit to put a little bit of bow into the bridge, and then it would be, it'd be great, but it's not quite. Uh, now, these tunnel entrances, it's consistent again across the map, but see how they slope upwards, but the tunnel stays flat. I'm going to call that a design thing. I've also got a little bit of blue mantle between the tunnels at this point. If you peek really hard, there's just a little bit going on there. But yes, those, those tunnels, that is, I'm going to call it a design aspect, because I'm going to say that they elevate there and then they'll elevate on the opposite side and across the map as well so as it's consistent I'm not going to have a problem with it I think it would have been more plausible to have had them flat but as I can I can go with it I, I can see how that might have been like one big round tunnel drilled through and then yeah, I can see it. I can imagine it anyway fantasy map as well so we can allow a little bit of creativity here and there now we've got some farmy type land as well. It looks a bit like uh, shrub land down there, but it's not scrub land either. But if you have a look at the layout of these little these little plants along here, like this side here, you can see it does look like it's actually farmland. So I can I can live with that again. Uh, now what I can't live with though <laughs> is this pillar is just glitching up. Now I was going to drag this pillar away or delete it or something. And the one I went and clipped on it, clipped on it with the move it tool. I thought, yeah, would you get rid of the move it? As soon as I clip on it, oh, I move the road, it just disappeared. So it's that's a weird one, that one. It's a weird one. I did get rid of it, but it was there, and I have to rate the map based on that. Now, another one of these bridges where the suspension cables don't quite tie in with the middle of the bridge. 
Again, just moving that middle node up a fraction, just to tie that in would be perfect. But other than that, perfectly aligned. We've got a sweeping, swooping, beautiful into that. There's so much. See, the thing is, the tiny little detailing errors don't take away from the fact it is an exceptional map for detail and for aesthetics. And the choices of roads to work on this map work so well as well. It uh, uh, allows for these like merge lane slip roads and whatever. It all comes together very nice indeed. Another one of these bridges. So we we'll just check out the suspension cables. And again, they're just hovering slightly above the road. Again, is it a big problem? It's not a problem at all. But uh, it is an imperfection. And if I'm looking to give five stars for detail, those little things need to be tidied up for the fifth star. It's still going to be a four star for detail, unless we can find anything hideously that breaks the map. Now, map breaking detailing issues, they are few and far between, but they do exist. And I have had maps look as good as this, and then I've given them really low scores for detailing because there's something that would be map breaking. Like over here, we've got a slightly encroaching tree. Again, easily fixed. Just drag the tree off of the road a little bit. And then you'll see a few of these with the roads going through the old um, rock formations. And we've got a little bit of encroaching rock there. Tiny little bit. You can raise the road a fraction and shunt it across to the right slightly. And that would miss that one. So yeah, there is a little bit of that going on. And also here, I think this is the only location I found any blue mantle. Just a hint of blue mantle under there. Again, it's not a huge problem. There we are. This, for me, is a bigger problem. We've got some encroaching rock. Now, the cars will completely ignore it because it's a prop, but um, it's encroaching onto the road in a way that actually is quite aesthetically non-pleasing. So I'll point that one out. Uh, the roads emerge over here. More of these tunnels going on here. Here we've got a tunnel going through one side, the road going around the opposite side. That's all very neat as well. And then some more tunnels. It's, it's still exceptional work. I, I told you it was going to be exceptional. I told you it was going to be... Oh, look, and here again, encroaching a rock from the detailing work. Tiny little things like that. Just taking the edge off the map. It's just taking the edge off. And it's, it makes me sad because everything about this map was shortlist for map of the year. Everything about it. It's just such quality. Anyway, uh, and design as well. And, and look, this is how you detail an intersection. This is how you detail. Very clean, very crisp, very tidy. Little bit of road glitching as we come off. In fact, this is quite bad. This is a start square road glitching here. Hmm. Anyway, uh, speaking of start squares. Yeah, I could build into this, I feel. And down here we have a very neat little asset of the day. Now this one is from Die Hard Hunter, probably better known for all of their cars, but uh, they do do some very nice buildings as well. And this is the Windy Creek Brewery. Could be the Windy Creek Brewery. <laughs> I don't actually know. Windy Creek would make as much sense as Windy Creek. Anyway, um, I'm going windy. <laughs> Factoids, because I'm going windy. That's, yeah, okay, right, cut that one out. <laughs> uh, factoids, because factoids. Karl Marx disapproved of Engel's mistress because she was too common. <laughs> Not because she was a mistress. Because she was too common. So the whole point of a mistress is it doesn't matter. These things are... It, who you choose to be the spouse. Now that is the lady. Oh, or the gentleman, of course. Uh, or, um, yeah, but, but surely, surely. A common mistress? That's the whole point. Anyway, the Windy Windy Creek Brewery by Die Hard Hunter. Today's factoid of the day. No, today's asset of the day. <laughs> and today's, I don't know if this is an error or not of the day, is this set of two pillars. I'm going to say that that is a um, feature. I'm going to call that a feature. I don't know. I, I'm suspecting it's an error, but it kind of works for me. Kind of works. Slightly encroaching foliage. Slightly. Not that worried about that one. Yes, so that double pillar, I'm not actually going to mark the map down on that because 
I look at that and I think maybe that is actually a detailing feature. <laughs> it could be. I, I mean, we don't see anything else like it around the map and there's nothing else to suggest that it is a feature. But um, it is very um, striking and well done, so I'm sticking with it. Okay, uh, if it was just the one pillar, then probably not. Uh, road and rail coming together through this custom bridge, which of course, this per this custom bridge is perfect. Yeah, if that had been one one pillar on its own, I probably would have questioned it more. But because it was too perfectly aligned, yeah. Anyway, I know we're not looking at the rail yet, but we're not probably come back this. We might come back this way, I don't know. But we've got some encroaching rocks on the rail there. It's not actually the worst bit of rail on the map, but I'll talk about that in a moment. The uh, the road then goes under the rail. Again, this is just all very tidy. The uh, the forest design is very clean. I'm liking the shape of the islands and the undulation of the islands is just like a real natural vibe to it. We've got another one of these through paths here and this is perfect. That is perfect. Like the way it goes under, then over, then under. It's just it's just great design it's great great design and then we've got another one of these bridges which you just know you just know is um yeah doesn't quite uh, match up with the cables we flew past that one but you you can freeze frame it to see but i do want to nip over to here I had to come this way because we've got this road coming through another one of these rock passes here and this is slightly encroaching onto the road so uh, i'm I, I yeah a bit of cleaning up there to be done the road then nips through another couple more tunnels and then we've got another one of these bridges which you just know doesn't quite connect up with the cables there you can see against the skyline <laughs> so it's gone those cables are consistent across the map but because they are, i would say that is a flaw yeah that is a repeated flaw as opposed to a uh, design feature now the rail the rail is the rail is pretty good yeah we've got a couple of areas uh is that cutting i'm not really solving that cutting but uh it's it's by far from far, far from a bad thing but yeah the uh the rail just falls along the coast here now there is somewhere on the map and fortunately when i filmed the fly through i must have taken the wrong route somewhere because i wanted to show you for, what for me is again it's not horrendous but it just doesn't quite work I think it must have been a um, an anarchy issue when drawing out the rail lines because there were two that just didn't quite work and they, they merged into each other. Should we go left? We'll go left. We're going left here. A little bit of, uh, you'll see this a few times as well where the uh, texture glitches out on the rail. Um, but yeah, but it's, uh, oh, it, here's the place with that rock, a uh, more, more glitchy rail there. And uh, this is the place where that rock was glitching through the line. But yes, there's a, there's somewhere where the two rail lines merge in together and because of the anarchy settings, they don't quite work. And it's very hard to explain. And unfortunately, I, I, oh, we've got uh, some catenary chaos to portal on the line there, yep. So yeah, unfortunately we, we won't get to see it, but take my word for it, it's, it's no worse than the one with the, the rock on the line. Yeah, it's it it's gonna be easy to fix even if you just have to rebuild the line delete it and then rebuild it um it's it's not gonna take any time to fix but it was um eye-catching enough to be an an issue and yet another issue on the map which is littered with just tiny little issues and it makes me sad because after last year's map after that that map was just like wow okay yeah i like this and then this one came along and everything about it said, do you know what? This could be my map of the year. It's not going to be. It's not going to be. Just a little bit too cluttered. Anyway, um, we seem to have done a full lap of the rail. I think I've got lost. So what we'll probably do is we'll probably zone out in a moment when I find the location. And uh, and then we'll take an intermission. We'll come back, have a look at the, uh, the shipping and the water flow. And have a quick overview of the islands before I give it some ratings. There might be a five in there, maybe. I can't believe I'm plugging this, but my husband, this old gamer, has a YouTube channel where he builds cities or something. He thinks he's funny and different from other City Skylines channels, but what he needs to do 
is take out the trash. But in the meantime, check out this old gamer. And so back to a dormant volcano by Nicolab Jr. Shipping routes, there would be some pillar clipping going through there with the ships on uh, coming towards us on the right hand side of the line there. Uh, shipping route comes up here through this narrowish pass, which is fine. Uh, here, yeah, be some shipping clipping on those two pillars there, or one, at least one of them. Uh, then through here, perfectly through there, off the edge of the map. Let's go back the other way. Uh, through here, that's perfect there. How are we looking over here? Oh, we've already been through here. Then we'll head over this way, and do you know what? That's that's going to be okay, that one. And then probably off towards the edge of that, there might be one more bridge to come. Yep, one more bridge. Big old bridge, no problem there. And then back out through there, which we've already seen. Water flow. It's a dormant volcano with water pouring out the top of it. It's a fantasy map. I'm okay with it. It, yeah, it, it falls into the niche, into the genre, and that's all good. We've got water flow coming out of the volcano, out into the river system over that way, and over this way. It's not the most uh, high-powered of water systems, but it'll do. We've got plenty of options, and it looks very pretty as well, which we'll see when we get down there. Overall, the map looks it. It's a great choice of theme and lots. It's a great combo. Great, great combo. Uh, just giving us these beautiful rock faces without having to do any prop detailing. Uh, the cliffs are great. The tree placement is exceptional. The uh, I just love this 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 crack there. It's all great, and then the, the the rock texturing along here, it just adds some texture and some interest and some vibe to the map. It's uh, almost uh, I was gonna say it's almost like it got a grey flame kind of vibe to it that uh, that texturing. But of course we've got a lot of grey flames rocks here as well, so a little bit of a nod to grey flame there. Uh, we've got, uh, yeah, tree, trees on the beach in a way that I can buy into and great looking beaches. We want to do some tourism on this map, it would look good. Got this little valley going on here with, um, again, just great. Uh, it's just got a great visual vibe to it, hasn't it? Then we've got a very nice looking uh, rivers and waterfalls going up into the dormant volcano. And uh, in terms of fantasy map, I'm okay with all of that. Uh, what ha have we got over here? Have we missed anything? Uh, just, just bays and the whole, the, yeah, so many places to build into. You can see many ways to attack this map in terms of city design. The fields look realistic, just like the undulation is smooth and gentle and rolling, and I could buy into all of that as it's a, very much like the part of the world that I'm from in terms of the rolling hills and the cliffs, although the cliffs close to me tend to be more white as in the white cliffs than uh, than rocky but uh, um, they're all sorts of cliffs and I'm okay uh, this island over here is kind of like a bonbon island but it is connected to the mainland so uh, I know people can get to me too easily so you can't be you can't be a bonbon island but on the big side for a bonbon island as well anyway uh, what do you think of this map is it a one star map is it a five star map is it somewhere in between your vote really does count we use it at the end of the month for the viewers choice top 10 will this be one of the top 10 maps of the month only you can decide click the i button in the top right in the corner of your screen now it'll take you to the voting page where you can vote for free uh, you can log in using facebook or gmail or even a free patreon account right okay aesthetically this is a strong map this is a strong, strong map. I'm so close to giving it five stars for aesthetics, but I don't know what's holding me back. I'm gonna go for, I'm gonna go for a, a high four. Detailing. Well, again, uh, this is high, high fours again, wasn't it? But there were so many little bits. Do I feel it's enough to drop it down to three star level? Not quite. Not quite. A bit worried about that um, start square merge merging of the road. So I want to go for a low four. But yeah, a bit, bit of tidying up to do. Gameplay potential. Could play this a lot. But I do feel there's a little bit of too much cleaning up to be done. So I'm going to, I can't give it the fifth star because of that. But I'm going to give it as high as you can go. Four stars for gameplay. 
Dormant Volcano by Nico Lab Jr. That is a beauty. Bomb Bomb B seal of approval right the way through it, but it needs a little bit of tidying up. There you go. <laughs> There's a map for you. <laughs> Won't take long to fix it, let's face it. Just fix it as you're going along. It just fixes you going along. That's what Move It was made for, isn't it? Isn't it? Oh no, it's made for other things. Okay. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching, for commenting, for liking, and for subscribing. If you are still here, use the word of the day there into the uh, into the comments and score yourself 100 population points just for fun for being part of our elite secret society. I've been Bombombi. You've been very, very welcome, and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>